Mystery solved tonight. We now know what that substance was that covered cars in a north side neighborhood, prompting police to rope off a street earlier today. Thank you for joining us for First Coast News at 11. I'm Heather Crawford. Anthony has the evening off. Christina Burgess is on your side, joining us live now from the San Mateo neighborhood uh, where the substance was found. So, Christina, what did you find out? Well, yeah, Heather, I have been out here in this neighborhood since about four this afternoon. I've had neighbors show me their cars. I've seen them wash their cars, and I've also watched police and hazmat teams rope off this neighborhood to investigate this substance. And just a couple hours ago, we were able to find out what this substance is. We're being told it's a humic dust powder used as a fertilizer by a nearby business. I came out, looked at my vehicle, and it was a brownish rust color substance on my vehicle. When Sarita Curse came outside to walk her daughter to school, her car was covered in some kind of substance. So I wasn't really sure what the substance was. Curse wasn't the only neighbor in this San Mateo neighborhood whose car was covered. I spent over 30 minutes trying to scrub one of the other vehicles and while it did fade a little bit, it's not completely coming off. Amanda Hinninger called police to try and get answers as to what this could be. Nearly an hour later, Jacksonville Sheriff's officers arrived, and moments later, the entire neighborhood was roped off as hazmat teams were brought in to investigate. Can't get in, can't get out. A couple hours later, we got answers as to what this substance is. It's a dust called humic powder, which is used as a fertilizer. Jacksonville Fire Rescue says the powder came from Humic Growth Solutions, a nearby business that produces the powder. One of their systems had some sort of malfunction. They usually suppress the powder from getting out into the air outside of the plant. It got out. It's an exceptionally windy day today, and it got out onto the vehicles. According to JFRD, the owner of this business assisted the hazmat team by explaining to them what they were dealing with. JFRD says the pH in the powder is slightly acidic, but nothing alarming. And JFRD tells me that if anyone might have touched this substance, you are asked and encouraged to wash your hands with soap and water. If you ingested it, also be sure to drink some water. And again, when I asked, is this hazardous in any way? I was believed to be a non, it's believed to be not a health hazard. Again, they're saying that it is slightly acidic, but it should not be too alarming. In the north side, Christina Burgess, First Coast News on your side.